Now in this part of the question, we're asked to find the sum of the first 15 terms, the first 15 numbers in this sequence. We've already discovered that the first term was 729, so I could actually put that one in here, 729. And we know that we multiply each term by two-thirds to get the next term. Now, for the geometric progression, the sum of the series is a formula that you should already know. The sum of the first n terms is always given by the first term, a, multiplied by 1 minus the common ratio to the power n all over 1 minus r. Or, if you multiply top and bottom of this equation by minus 1, you can actually use another version of the same formula. You end up with a times r to the power n minus 1 all over r minus 1. Now, it technically doesn't matter which one of these formulas you use, they'll both give you the same answer at the end of the day. Only most people tend to prefer to use this one if the common ratio is less than one and this one if the common ratio is more than one. But as I say, it doesn't matter which one you use. Well, I'm going to use this top one purely because the common ratio is two-thirds, it's less than one. And we're asked to find then the sum of the first 15 terms. So I'm going to say S15 equals, and according to the formula, it's going to be A, which is the first term, 729, multiplied by 1 minus the common ratio to the power n, so that's 1 minus the common ratio, 2 thirds, to the power 15. Make sure you put all of 2 thirds in brackets and then the 15 outside, okay? And then all of this is divided by 1 minus the common ratio, 1 minus 2 thirds. Do this on your calculator and what you should end up with is 2182.005 and so on. And if we round this say to four significant figures, what we're going to have is 2182. That's the four significant figures, 4SF for short. OK, I'll leave it up to you just to try this version out, OK, this formula here. You should find you get exactly the same answer, OK? Well, that brings us to the end of this part now of this question.